What makes you think you have the, the right uh, philosophy? Um, because one book said something like 200 or 2,000 years ago. Well, that book, provi that book provides the preconditions for intelligibility. It, pro it provides a worldview that makes that make, that has a foundation for knowledge, and no other worldview does. So that's why I put my faith. Okay, give me a worldview that makes sense of reality. Thirty girls to choose from, free hot dogs. All you can science science makes makes a lot of sense. Well, well, what what are you like? What do we use to make sense of science? Okay, like you use your consciousness, right? You use your sense perception. But you can't trust that because that could be deceiving you, right? Because you don't because you don't know where that came from, right? That's true. If God didn't create that, you can't trust that. But why, but why put God in in the in the middle? Uh, why take God when we we don't know? It's just a mystery. Why put God there? Well, do you know anything? What do you know? How do you know anything? Do I know anything? Right. How do we know anything? We know logic. Logic makes sense to me. How? I don't know. It just does, it just works. Well, you say it makes sense to me, but how do you know that you exist? Because we're talking right now. Like yeah, but that. Yeah, but that could just be. Di so that could just be I different experiences different coming together, to make you think it's like one oh, person. You but you don't know that one person is actually experiencing this experience right now. It could be. It could, different, we could, it could be different components from different consciousnesses, right? I agree with all you okay. saying. Okay, so you can't say me. I agree with everything you just said. Okay. But what, 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 I, what I can't understand is why, why do you have to put God in, 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 in the place of mystery? Would be just explains, explains Are you dehumanized woman? Why are you working with no, I'm, I'm saying God, God, see God is... You are a shit He's the foundation for knowledge. Like there needs to be a, somebody who created reality, who knows everything about reality, who reveals that to us, so that we know the nature of reality. If he doesn't do that, then then we don't know we don't know anything. Can I talk to you? Why can't we figure it out? Can I talk to you? Why do you work we, we, in a, why why do you why do you work in this establishment that dehumanizes women? I, I don't. We can't rely on ourselves because we don't have you all are, knowledge, you're right? Working, you're working so we could always be wrong about what we think we know, right? And we're wrong we don't, all the time. You're so we can't put our faith in ourselves. We should put our, because that worldview doesn't make sense of reality. We should put our faith in the biblical worldview in which we can trust what we're thinking and sensing because God created our consciousness and our minds and our bodies to use in the world to glorify Him. Something did. I'm not sure if it's God. Can you put the sign down and stop dehumanizing women? How do you know? Like you need a revelation. You need a revelation. The Bible. The Bible is the revelation from God to tell us what reality is. Stop dehumanizing women. You need a revelation. You should stop dehumanizing women with a sign. I'm not. How is he dehumanizing so, so like you should put your faith in a worldview that provides the preconditions for intelligibility, instead of putting your faith in your these random experiences you're having, but you don't even know where they those are coming from. Like, so you don't know anything in, in that worldview. Why can't we just chalk it up to mystery? Well, you're trying to have a conversation right now. That's like, true. you're trying to like, you're ta we're talking about knowledge and knowing things. So you might, if you give up knowledge, then you embrace absurdity and you, there's no reason to even keep talking. That's so if you're like, it could be all mystery. Okay, congratulations, you've embraced absurdity. You're a fool. <laughs> well, no, I don't think I'm embracing absurdity. You I'm, are. I'm just embracing reality. Well, you're, you're trying to communicate to me like that you're embracing, you're, like, but you can't even do that I'm if, if you've to. given up knowledge. I know. See, I think that knowledge is has nothing to do with anything supernatural. I think knowledge has to do with our brains. I think it has to do with our neurons. I think it has to do with our upbringing. I think it has to do with us being the the the, the, the entities that can speak and that can talk and that can reason together. I don't think it has anything to do with some sort of person that that, that the, the Bible talks about. I, I, when I read the Bible, I read it. I thought it was a, a lot of great parts. But the one thing that I didn't really understand was that how is it different than fiction? How, how can you prove to me that it's not just another book that Shakespeare wrote, for example? Um, because Shakespeare's 
books don't provide the preconditions for intelligibility. It doesn't provide a worldview that makes sense of knowledge. So, okay, so how, do we, you, how, how are you providing a worldview that makes sense of knowledge? Well, the worldview needs a triune God who... Why? Who, Why does it need a triune God? Well, um, that explains the problem of the one and the many. It's kind of a complicated philosophical problem. I'm sure it is. Um, where, where people are trying to figure out is like, it's everything, it's everything all just one unified whole with no distinctions at all? Or is everything just like completely separate from everything else and not connected in any way whatsoever? Right. But a triune God, he's three persons in one being. Right. He's diversity and unity together right. equally. Right. And that's the reality we're living in right now. And we have... That things prove? that are distinct from one another that are unified. I'm curious how that proves that the Bible is right. Well, this is one. This is one of the preconditions. So I'm, I'm continuing. So we need a God who, who's triune, who knows everything, right. who created everything, who's all powerful, who can, because he's all powerful, he can tell us what the nature of reality is because he created reality, because he knows everything. And then he, the, another precondition is he needs to re reveal that to us so that we know, so that we don't put our faith in what we think with our limited knowledge that can't make sense of anything, just our random experiences. We shouldn't trust in that, we should trust in his revelation from him, the revelation that tells us that he did create human beings on planet Earth, and that there's a distinction between the, the material realm and the immaterial realm that the Bible talks about flesh and spirit. So spirit is the immaterial, flesh is the material, without revelation from God that there is a distinction, you can't even prove to me that material reality actually exists. What's your name? My name is Matt. My name's Chris. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. I, I think we're struggling or we're thinking about the same type of things. Like, I've been thinking about what you're talking about for a long, for a long time. Yeah. Since I was a kid. Yeah. And I'm struggling with it. I think you're probably struggling with it. I'm not. <laughs> you're not? Okay. Well, that's, well, that, that, that's probably why you, you found Jesus. Right? Because you, you don't struggle anymore, right? Well, I'm not struggling with epistemology anymore. Let's, let's say that... Not really. I, I wish, mean... I wish I, I can get there. It's hard for me to get there. But the only thing... I, I'll, I'll let you... I'll stop bugging you, but... The You're only not thing, bugging me. The only thing I want to leave you with is just... It's hard for me to under, to accept what you're saying. And the only reason why I say that is because when you look into the Bible especially the Old Testament and a little bit of the New Testament, there's a lot of things that I don't agree with in terms of moral uh, uh, precepts, right? Yeah. There's, there's a lot of evil in there, and, and, and I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure if there's a benevolent being that's in the sky that's revealed himself through this text. Yeah. I, I, how do you know it's evil? How do you? How can you judge what yeah. God's word says when God's word is the standard I'm, I'm for right and wrong? It, I'm judging it as a human. I'm judging it because. Well, how I do you know I, it's right and wrong? Because I think that you know homosexuality. If you're judging people and and, and, and stoning them for that, I think that that's wrong. I think that uh, 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 God calling to certain um, groups to uh, exterminate other groups is probably wrong. Why? Why, what makes something wrong or not wrong? How do you know what's right and what's wrong? Reason. Reason? Yeah. But, I mean, people use their reason to, to say that rape is right. And to say that mass murdering people is yeah, right. But, but right? I've, nev I've never heard a good argument in my life about how rape is right. I've never well, it's just your arbitrary opinion that it's not a good argument. The, or the rapist well, well, thinks it is a good it, argument. It goes, well, that's yeah, true, but I think the rapist doesn't have the same sort of psychology that you and me have. Well, the rapist could say that about you and say you're wrong. For, for like, He can say his morality is the right thing and that your morality is wrong. He, he can say it's, it's a good thing to cause um, chemical reactions and neurons firing in the brain that cause pain. Right. Psychopaths can say that's a good thing. Right. And what, when you say it's a bad thing, but I but who's right? But but it's just your arbitrary opinion against his arbitrary opinion, your preference against his preference. Well, that's, it, it, that's why I fall back on reason, man. It, it, well, that does, we, that's we not reason. Have, well, reason can't solve that problem. Well, his reasons aren't good enough, aren't good enough for me to be convinced. According to your According to your opinions and your preferences, but According but to my mind. same thing for him, for you, you know. Right. So it's just it's just arbitrary opinions. 
Right. And you can't say this is actually right or that's actually wrong. You're just saying, I prefer this and you prefer that. And I don't like that you prefer that. No, no, I, I'm, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure if that's exactly true. It is true. I don't think... I, I'm not, With, I'm not, if you reject God's moral law laid down in the Bible, which is the objective standard for morality, you don't have morality. You can't judge God's word by an, an external standard because there is no external standard. I think we can build up morality through philosophy. How? How? J just by trying really hard. You know? I don't think so and, at and, all. And, and we'll, we'll fail. Like, we'll have slavery, you know, for a very long time. And then we'll figure it out. And then we'll move on. And then we'll, ha we'll keep women down for a very long time. And then we'll figure it out and move on. Like, but but why is it wrong to keep women down? Because they don't like it. <laughs> right, right. Like, in, in your, your preference is to not cause pain in other people's brains. In a sense, yes. Okay, that's your preference. Other people, it's their preference to cause pain in other people's brains. Yeah, so and, what, and, and we, so they think we, you're wrong, you think they're wrong. We institutionalize those people. You institutionalize what? The people, we institutionalize the people who don't think it's wrong to, who think it's right to cause pain in other people's brains. Yeah, but, but maybe, you're causing them pain by institutionalizing I'm sure, them. I'm sure we are. So, but, so then you'd be contradicting yourself. Because uh, then now you're now you're causing pain in the people who are causing other people pain. But like, we are. Like, we are. why is it right to cause some people pain and other people because, not pain? Because they're gonna be they're gonna cause a whole lot of pain if they're, they're if they stay within society. They're, gonna, they're they're going to hurt a lot of people. But, but what is pain? What does pain consist of? Pain, pain is a pain is a feeling. Pain, pain, pain is something tangible. Yeah. So why is pain bad? Why yeah. should we say? Why should we avoid pain? Suffering. It, it's really. It, it's not pain. I, I, I want to not say pain. I want to say suffering. Okay. Why should we avoid suffering? Because suffering is bad. Why is suffering bad? Suffering is bad because we would rather have um, not suffer. I would rather not suffer than suffer. Would you rather suffer or not suffer? I'd rather not suffer, but but masochists would rather suffer, right? Some people would rather they're suffer. Get, but they're getting pain. They're getting pleasure from the suffering, right? Well, aren't they? Yeah. So they're suffering and not suffering at the same time. <laughs> so suffering to me, I would probably suffer for the masochist, but he's getting pain, so let him let him get his pleasure. So, so you're saying that this is what people prefer. Yes. But you're not you're not giving a justification for why it should be that way. You're saying that you shouldn't have pain, but that's just what people prefer, and and because they prefer that, that's why it shouldn't happen. But it doesn't really explain why pain is bad. It, it just explains that people don't prefer it. It does. <laughs> so here's here's maybe this example, like so 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 healthcare, right? Like like if you were to be vomiting like all over all over the floor, and like you're like stand up and you feel very sick right you would want to get well correct yeah you would, you would want to go to a, a, a doctor's hospital whatever yeah right okay so would i so would everyone and yep. I, I think you can take that analogy and move it on to morality so like we all we all want to feel good we all want to have not suffer and the person who's saying no actually by the way i i actually want to suffer I don't, I'm not, I'm, I, I, you have no right to tell them that I don't that's any, wrong. I don't have right, but it's like, it, it's, anal it, it's analogous to saying, I want to vomit uncontrollably all day. Vomit. Somebody could say that. They could. But <laughs> well, so everything's meaningless still. Like, like you're saying there's this morality, there's the standard we should have, right? This is right, that's wrong. You can't have that. It's just, this is my preference, that's your preference. I, th I think it's wrong to rape people. He thinks it's cool to rape people. That's his preference. This is my preference. That's not a standard for morality. It's just preferences. Right. You need the law of God. You need a law, an almighty lawgiver who has established what is right and what is wrong, who, who will judge you, you think, who you are accountable to. Do you think, do you think <laughs> laws can, are, are unchallengeable? Mor moral laws, do you think they're unchallengeable? Well, God's moral laws are not challengeable in the sense that, I mean, you can challenge them and say, hey, God, you're wrong, but yeah. in the end, he's going to say, yeah, you're wrong. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> so you think everything that God has revealed himself 
to be is correct. Yeah, I right. mean, he's all, the all, definition all, of good. All, all of the revelations when, you know, it's, it's seven days and you know, all that, that's all true. Seven days for like creation? Yeah. Yeah. It's all true? Yeah. It's, it's not nine billion years old? No. 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 The scientists are wrong. I think a lot of scientists are wrong. You know, like, I think science is, um, people the put a lot. Never, the Big Bang never happened. It, it was all, you know, we've been here for like 4,000 years, all that. We didn't, we didn't evolve. No, I mean, if, if you evolved, you wouldn't be able to know anything. Like, like if you, if you evolved, your consciousness is just the result of random chemical reactions. You can't even know that your consciousness is giving, giving you the correct perception of reality. I think my consciousness <laughs> is random chemical reactions. Okay, then you can't know anything. That's what you, I know quote, believe. I, know I, I can see a bar. I can see a cubic I know that. Okay, but that's what you perceive, but I perceive. you don't know that it's actually there. I mean, I it, it could be an right. illusion, right? Right. Okay. So you don't know that it exists in a material reality, right? Yep. So. That's fair. Yeah. I don't think, I, I, I'm not uh, uh, attached to the idea that I know that that Huey Hotel is 100% there. I could be living in the Matrix, you know? For all so you can't know anything in that worldview, man. That, that That's not a good worldview. No, but I mean, it just, it's the one that makes the most no, it doesn't. You're saying I don't have knowledge and this makes the most sense. I have the worldview in which I can't know anything and that makes the most sense. Uh, it, 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 do you know that it, it makes the most sense? I mean, we can know, we, we can know some things, right? Like, like we, what? Like we build bridges that don't fall down. Like that's a... That, that's a uh, uh, no, maybe it does it, fall down, but you, you, your it, perceptions are, are think, making you think it doesn't fall down. That's an endeavor that we actually have that like our understanding can, can map to re reality with a bridge, right? Well, so using math, we can figure out how no. to build something and then it won't fall. Well, no, it could, it might have fallen, but your per perception is that it hasn't fallen. So your perception is lying to you when in, in reality, maybe it did fall down. Well, if it fell, wouldn't cars go? <clears throat> but your perception wouldn't be telling you that, so you wouldn't know, right? Well, my perception tells me that it works. Right, but your perception could be lying to you. Am I getting a video? Yeah. Right here, what? Right. I 